You have to be a little gay to be a real man. I'm not the first to say this. I'm not the first to think this. Matter of fact, I think you think this. You just don't want to admit it. Actually, I think I saw this in a meme like way back by this YouTuber named uh, Almonte Films. But basically what he said that has stuck to me until this very day was that you got to know when a guy is cute. In order to scout your competitions, you gotta know when a guy is cute. And I think that applies for more than trying to scout out competitions just for the sake of it. Yeah, it was something along those lines, but that's that's true. And I feel like if you wanna be truly a, a high-valued man, you know, a man at his absolute peak, at his absolute best, you gotta be a little gay. And you can look no further than at gym bros. Because I feel like they have so much testosterone flowing through their bodies that they have no choice but to be a little gay. You know, when you start building on those muscles and you start looking a little good and checking yourself out in the mirrors, who comes up to you and hypes you up? Not girls. They could care less about your big muscles. But Jonathan over there, benching three plates on each side, he's gonna tell you your pecs are nice. He's gonna tell you that your glutes are looking good. And then you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna say thank you and dap them up with your sweaty hands. There ain't nothing wrong with being a little gay in order to reach peak masculinity just like how you gotta know when some dude is good looking so that you can know for yourself what a good looking man is so you can be one it's the same thing with all other aspects of life your muscles your skills you can't become the best without admiring other men first you know ever since i heard that back in middle school it's it's never rung truer than now because you know what no homo but pop smoke has a nice ass voice rest in peace he has a nice deep voice and I wish I could have a voice like him. Like that shit is low, bassy, smooth. But you know what? That does sound a little gay. Whether you or whether you want to admit it or not. And it's better that you admit it now. That way you can reach past that 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 ceiling that's keeping you down thinking you're not gay. At least a little gay. I mean, come on. It's it's kind of gay to to like the voices of other guys and to like hearing it. And maybe putting you to sleep. Like, is it not gay to be listening to Frank Ocean while you're hitting it from the back? Like, what if you were homies with some really popular R&B artist in the middle of piping your girlfriend? You know, he comes on. Is it gay to be piping her to to your to your homie's song to his voice? No, I don't think so. I think that's peak masculinity. It's like a brother lending a hand especially when you need it, even in sports. You know, you're admiring the athleticism of some guys. Don't even get me started on combat sports, especially MMA. You can't say it's not kind of gay to watch two grown men wrestling each other on the floor just because there's blood. It doesn't make it any less gay. It's just now gay with blood. And to some people that could even be more gay. So the point is that we shouldn't be trying to hide away from this little bit of gayness that can ultimately help you become a true man. Why is it gay to slap a guy's ass, but not when you're playing football? And I wish this would be more openly discussed, but why don't we compare cock sizes more, you know? Let me see how big your sh schlong is and I'll show you mine. <laughs> All right, now that, that was okay. That was a little gay. That was a little gay, a little too gay. But maybe the reason for that little bit of gayness that you need is actually the nurturing side of you. It's the side of you that wants to take care of the pack, that wants to take care of your wife, of your daughters, of your mom. When you decide to double down on being all, all masculine and full masculinity, you just become this angry hunk of meat that is just desperately really seeking out love. Maybe what it means to truly be able to have the ability to conquer and have strength comes from that little bit of gayness of, of love. Maybe strength comes from wanting to protect people. Maybe instead of trying to avoid this loving side of you, you instead just accept it and start showing it more, especially to strangers. If you truly were masculine, you wouldn't try to prove otherwise. You wouldn't try to prove your masculinity. You wouldn't try to prove anything to prove that you're a man. You just do it. Maybe that bit of gayness is really just your personality, your true personality wanting to come out. And you only think it's gay because other guys have called it gay. So you're kind of gay for letting other people dictate how you should be. Real men don't need to prove the masculinity. Real men don't need to prove nothing. The only way you can get people to hear you is through action. So you just do it. 